really foggy, damp morning and Andrew keeps trying to film the stream and <laughs> the lens keeps getting all fogged up so that's why the quality looks really bad. But anyway, after leaving Stavanger, we've been island hopping a bunch on the west coast and we just went through Bergen yesterday, which was a lot of really urban riding. It wasn't the most fun, but now we're headed back inland and we're gonna ride the National Cycle Route 4 into Oslo. We're currently riding this old highway that is going around a fjord. It's pretty close to the new highway, but it has a bunch of tunnels that bikes can't go through, so it effectively makes the old highway into a bike path, which has been really pleasant riding. There's some houses down here, but really not many cars. We're on this remote section of the National Cycle Route 4 and up ahead there is a self-service convenience store. It's the middle of nowhere and there's no other stores anywhere near so we're going to see how this thing works. Supposedly you just use a credit card to get in the door. Hopefully it takes our American credit card. We don't really need anything but... It's called the Snark Job. Yeah, it's called the Snark Job. That's the most exciting part of it. The outside of the self-service grocery store. You just uh, pay 10 cents to get in. Door opens. Well, my card let me in and it turned out to be a really nice little uh, grocery store. Managed to get some beer and mushrooms and peppers. You just check out here. It's pretty crazy.
we're headed out of Voss. Just uh, got up a big 1,000 foot climb. Starting out uh, three days of riding up to connect with the actual Rollerbagen route. Uh, we're still on the National Cycle Route 4. Uh, we got about 77 miles till our next food source. So we loaded up for three days because I think we're going to stop and do some hiking up there. Should be a fun uh, big alpine section. We get up to about 4,000 feet. Highest we've been probably since Spain or maybe even Switzerland. It's really nice knowing I have uh, three days worth of food on the bike. We're going to be filtering water, so we're pretty much self-sufficient for the next 72 hours. Most of the time we uh, resupply every day, so it's kind of fun being in a situation where you've got everything you're going to need for a pretty good chunk of time. train in Myrdal. We took one stop that was through a really long tunnel uh, through a mountain and now we're gonna start the Rollerbangen bike route. direction. It's a little bit sketchy on these steep ascents. Getting close to the high point on the Rollerbagen. It's gonna be about 4,400 feet. The terrain has turned into kind of an alpine moonscape. It's been a really fun climb today. So far, we haven't seen a single other person going up. There's a train that'll take you to the top, and we've just been getting passed by a steady stream of people heading down. It's been kind of interesting.
It's our campsite on the Raleigh Bagan. Jenny's working on dinner, having some chicken curry, cooking on the bush buddy. This time of year, there have been a ton of blueberries just growing wild. I think they're actually called bilberries here, but anyway, we've been picking them for our breakfast with granola and Nutella. Since finishing the Rollerbagen, we've been on slightly busy highways on the National Cycle Route 4. So we decided to hop off the 4 and get on Cycle Route 5, which has put us on this really nice dirt road in the middle of nowhere. Uh, entailed a lot of climbing. We've done 3,000 feet of climbing in less than 20 miles so far today. But it's going to be flatter from here on out and it's much better than riding on a highway with big trucks and no shoulder. The terrain has changed a lot since leaving um, the high mountains in the Rollerbagen. We've got these like big kind of bog marshy areas and the fireweed is changing color now that it's getting into fall and it's really pretty. Jenny's getting dinner going at our campsite here. Today is September 9th. We fly to Malaysia on September 13th. We're riding the last 90 miles into Oslo. We're at the last 90 miles we're gonna do in Europe. Coming up on a big turning point in the tour. We're really excited to be in Asia, but a little bit sad to be leaving Europe. We've been here for over 14 months now and we've had a great time, but we're definitely ready for cheaper prices and Asian food, so uh, the next several days are going to be very hectic. We're going to be having to box the bikes. I think we're planning on sleeping in the airport if they let us because hotels in Oslo are very expensive and difficult to uh, get to the airport from with a bike box. Yeah, we'll see how these next few days go. Can't wait to just be relaxing in our Airbnb in Malaysia, but a lot of stuff to do between now and then. This whole forest floor is just absolutely covered with blueberries. And these ones are humongous.
Riding uphill in Kongsberg. It's been a chilly rainy day. It's around 50 degrees. After weeks of riding and really nice weather, the temperature has just dropped and stayed low. So we're back to being a little bit cold every day, but we got a big climb coming up. It's gonna warm us right up. This is our last campsite in Europe after a 15 month tour capping off the whole big trip and it's not the most scenic campsite of all time but we're getting close to Oslo so we have you know less and less options as, as we get closer to the city. We've got a long day of bike boxing ahead of us so always a little bit stressful but we'll get to the airport with all our stuff eventually. Way to the Oslo airport, bit of a yard sale. This is definitely my least favorite aspect of bike touring, but it always works out fine. Thank you. 